fellow and welcome to Thought for July the 13th. Our readings are 1 Samuel chapters 26 and 27, Jeremiah chapter 3 and Matthew chapter 14. And our thought is, no more stubbornly follow their own evil heart. As we read more of the remarkable testimony of Jeremiah, whom God called to give his message during the final years of Jerusalem, before it was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar, we came across some remarkable but brief glimpses of the ultimate future time of glory. In today's chapter, we read, At that time, Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, and all nations shall gather to, together to it, to the presence of the Lord in Jerusalem, and they shall no more stubbornly follow their own evil heart, we read in chapter 3, verse 17. Those seeking God with a genuine heart were encouraged by this prospect, as we are today. So much of what we read in Jeremiah has parallels with attitudes today as we live in the final years of human control of this earth. But Jeremiah began his life in good circumstances. He was born to be a priest, and the word of the Lord came first to him in the reign of Judah's last good king, Josiah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. Chapter 1 verse 2. We learn in 2 Kings 22 that Josiah initiated the repairing of the temple, verse 5, and it was reported to him by the chief high priest that I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord, verse 8. And the rest of the chapter and the next describes the dramatic story of the Reformation the king then initiated. In the 18th year of his reign, a great Passover was kept to the Lord in Jerusalem, we read in chapter 23, verse 23. It was a dramatic start to the life of Jeremiah in his youth. It compares just a little with our teenage years and the dramatic re-establishment of Israel as a nation nearly 1900 years into oblivion. But how ungodliness has grown in the world ever since then. In Jeremiah chapter 1, we read how he says to God when he is first called, Ah, Lord God, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a youth. Verse 6. The Lord responds, Do not say, I am only a youth, for to all to whom I send you, you shall go. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. Verses 7 and 8. Josiah is killed just 13 years after this Passover. From then on, Jeremiah lives and preaches in many hostile circumstances right through to the destruction of Jerusalem and afterwards. But first God granted him 18 years of peace to gain strength under the reign of a good king. His life and his distress at the godlessness surrounding him has many parallels to today, in which, like in Jeremiah's time, people refuse to be ashamed. Chapter 3, verse 3. Today, the broad way that leads to destruction has never been more evident. Real strength and conviction is needed to stay on the narrow path. Jeremiah can be our role model, if we but commit to the reading of God's word every day. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.